Yeah. Hello, everyone. No, oh, I, I totally failed that. Welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> so, time to begin the Clanker's Cavern. And it's a rather small world, but yet it takes a while to do, about the same as the other levels we've done so far, because it's just, well, kind of slow to play through. But it's a very fun world. Let's go. Guess what it is. Guess what it is. It's a water world. <laughs> yeah. Notice the pipes? Yep. And there's the water. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, though. It's not like a water temple or something like that, so it'll all go nice and smoothly. Uh, this is this enemy right here, though, is kind of a kind of a trap enemy here. See that? Well, you can't actually tell that there's an enemy there, but there's actually a grill champa. And what happens is when you get close, it growls, and yeah, it's very, very trollish. <laughs> the easiest way to deal with them is just to run up and rat-a-tat wrap those stinkers. And you can do that basically instantly without losing your momentum or anything like that. Which is uh, pretty nice. There's a Jinjo right behind here. And I'll save that beehive for later, I guess, if I need it. And oh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the wall. Oh, no, I wasn't, but I'm okay. <laughs> there we go. See, rat a tat rap, rat a tat rap. Just do that all the way around. And all the way. Oh, there's the dialogue. Yay! <laughs> yeah, that's the one that I said that I missed earlier when I uh, collected that other gold feather and it would appear when it, I actually collected another one. You know, there it is. <laughs> And it's those. I'm gonna go around this perimeter here. Bye bye. <laughs> Man, this is one powerful rat a tat rap to defeat something so sinister and something so. I guess you could say big, but I've seen bigger in this game. Uh, I don't really care much for collecting the eggs, especially since it's kind of slowish underwater to do so with the kind of drifting control, so I'm just gonna go right down through here to the actual main area of Clanker's Cavern. We're gonna get a little, little bitty bit of dialogue here. By the way, uh, the sound you're hearing is actually Banjo's voice slowed down to make that. <laughs> yeah, a little fun fact for you. So he's having some difficulties because he doesn't like the dirty water. And I don't blame him because this water is kind of stinky. <laughs> so, uh, our little garbage compactor friend that needs a bit of help, and to help him, we've got to go do something sort of risky. So we gotta hurry up and go down here. I like to do this first because I prefer not to go down here twice if I can help it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And it's like, see, there's a bunch of notes here, and then there's a, a friendly fish somewhere. Camera, camera, camera. A friendly fish somewhere around here that'll give us some air. Uh, but yeah, because we're underwater and we'll die if we run out of air, so let's find that fish somewhere around here, as he's pretty important. Where is the fish, anyway? <laughs> Hello, f there you are. I I need to kind of get some air here. Hey, how's it going? Ah, nice to meet you, Gloop. Although I've met you many times before in other playthroughs. <laughs> so yeah, he gives you two globules of air, I guess you could say, per uh, air bubble you get. And Well, thing is, you gotta kind of get them. Don't let your air drop down below two, because you're really pushing it. Let's just put it that way. And uh, basically, you want to grab everything here while you're down here. The notes, the Jinjo, and do the little swim through the key puzzle type thing three times to release Clanker. But I'm going to get the notes first, because uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of the most out of the way. Oh, and I guess the Jinjo, too. <laughs> Might as well grab that as long as I'm doing this loop here. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, let's start doing the, uh, oh, come on. <laughs> let's start swimming through the keyhole. And yeah, we gotta do this three times, so where's one? And we gotta go back around and do it again. There's two, and I'm, mm, I was waiting for you to come back around there. Where's my bubble? Where's my bubble? Uh, oh, geez, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little worried, because I missed that bubble, I'd have to collect the notes all over again, along with the Jinjos and stuff. And that wouldn't make me happy! Okay, <laughs> okay now let's grab 
Let me actually say, let's turn the key one more time, and that will release Clanker! Ooh, happy days! Yeah, he looks so happy, and he is very friendly, despite how he looks. <laughs> I mean, with those sharp teeth and whatnot, there's a Jiggy on his back. There we go. And a little dialogue. Clinker has pressure. You find reward on Clinker's back. Thank you, thank you. I gotta get myself out of here before I run out of air. Yeah, it takes a couple of honeycombs of air just to actually get... Uh-oh, get down there, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> And also, I probably want to clear out the stuff on the floor just so I get it out of the way because there's a bunch of easy to forget stuff on the floor inside those pipes and stuff and stuff and stuff. So let's go through a said pipes and pipes, 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 pipe. That's awesome commentary. So there's there's notes and stuff in some of these. There's also uh, refills for your, I think, eggs and feathers and stuff like that. So. Definitely worth going through these, at the very least, for the notes. Um, I also should try and look for an empty honeycomb underneath the water. Because uh, there's one somewhere around. I'll recognize it when I see it, but I don't see it yet. <laughs> but basically, after you have to swim up underneath it from down below. And this is what I mean about the world being kind of slow to play, is because you have to keep going up to the surface for air and stuff like that. Uh, so that's why it's kind of taking me a while to do this. And where is the spot that I am looking for? The magical spot that contains the honeycomb. This is... This is it right here. Okay, watch carefully. Watch carefully. You go up and in. Oh, 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 come on. I, I, I should have touched it. Where is it now? Oh! <laughs> there it is. Thank you, camera, for telling me exactly where I was in relation to the honeycomb. Alright, back up to get more air, going back down again. <laughs> see the see the rhythm of this level basically is that you gotta gotta watch your air. You do not want to lose the game because well, I should say lose a life because you're gonna have to reset the notes and stuff. And that will not make you a happy camper. And yes I know there's still a jiggy on top of his back, but I'm gonna get that when I go up there to clear some other stuff out separately. Was that the only notes down here? I don't really remember. I guess so. I thought there was two pipes of notes down here, but no, I guess not. I guess not. So, okay, now I'm gonna go flop up on his back, and the easiest way to do it is either on his face or up on his fins, like here, when they pop out of the water. See, so you get a standing... Yeah, you get the stand up like that, and you just jump up here. Don't forget to collect the notes. Yes, there is something to get up when you go on top of that spout. Uh, well, whatever you want to call it. It's like a spout plug screw thing. <laughs> Woo! That's the first jiggy of the world! Clinker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Help, Clinker! Yeah, so, um... By the way, uh, when I was a kid, I thought this was pieces bitten out of him or something like that, but that's rust. It looks very blood red for rust, doesn't it? <laughs> but, you know, it's it's obviously gotta be rust because, you know, he's mechanical and stuff. Uh, but anyway, you see these gold teeth here? We gotta shoot them out with eggs. And uh, this, this is rather awkward to do. You gotta have pretty decent timing to do this. And it might take you a bunch of tries to do this, so be patient on this. Uh, Oh, no, no. I didn't, hmm. didn't mean to pit that direction camera. Please work with me. Thank you. I need to get the right angle. To, oh, uh, mm, Xbox control stick. Not a good substitute for C buttons. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on, get up above the water. You can't shoot it when it's underwater. You also got to time it a little bit too, as you can tell there. See, because you see when you... When he, because you're shooting at it while he's moving, so that's why I like to aim when he's a little bit ahead, and I mean, a little in the direction that he's going, and yeah, you get what I'm saying here. So, okay, now I'm gonna go inside one of them, and this is another thing that I gotta cover a little bit later on, is the inside of Clanker. But, uh, I'm just gonna go on this side for now, and get this Jiggy. And another thing that I'm gonna do here, is go to the other side right here and get a mumbo token if I recall correctly 
Let's get ourselves an Ecom Bokum. There we go, and I'm not going to jump down there until I'm ready, because I'd like to just do his body in one fell swoop, so yeah. Uh, first thing I'm going to do here is get on this, and go up here. There is this little platforming segment, well, I should say tight roping type segment across ye ol' pipe, and it leads right to a jiggy. Happy days! Woo! And then there's a more treacherous one to get to, I guess you could say, later on that... Uh, ah! Whoop, I, oops, I didn't mean to fall down the spout. Well, well, I guess I'm doing this now. <laughs> That's okay, I guess. <laughs> so hitting that witch switch will make those two eyes appear. Hitting those down will give you a jiggy. So, yeah, we've got these uh, rather sharp things going on around here. We can get past them. Oh, no, just, just a decent amount of timing. Remember, he is the garbage guy around these parts. So that's why these things are in his belly and whatnot. So, yes. <laughs> and I'm going to go out here, which will lead directly out of him, if I recall correctly. Um, well, it's not, but I guess I'll do this now, too. <laughs> Maybe it was the other one? Oh, and there's, uh, Whiplash. That's uh, another enemy of sorts. That's not so much an enemy so much as... Well, I mean, it is It is seemingly sort of sentient. I'll, I'll give it that. But it's not really something that goes after you. It just kind of whips around and you avoid it. Now, this room looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is, because here's Bottle's one and only move, and he's going to give it to you that'll help you with this and trivialize this room. <laughs> this is called the Wonder Wing. And it makes you invincible for as long as you have golden feathers. And you use up a golden feather every two seconds or so. Which is plenty of time to get across this threshold of garbage collection. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna give me a couple feathers. Also, this to boot, start with here. And there we go! Delightful! And that's plenty to get over to the other side. And yeah, he's also gonna refill my health, because, you know, I took some damage there. Alright, I'm gonna click through this, because we know a dialogue for that. <laughs> so, get ready! Wonder Wing! And don't miss any notes as you go through this, by the way, because then you have to go through this again, and, you know, use more feathers, and that'll make you sad. Let's just do it all in one fell swoop, either there or on the way back. There we go. Five... Uh, whoa, 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 what am I doing? Wrong move, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't take a hit there, because I went right past one of the, the blades without actually timing myself, but it worked out. I like the formation of this, though, by the way. It's like a, a spiral of blades. See them going right along there, and yeah. It's practically impossible to get past that uh, without taking a hit if you don't have the Wonder Wing, so get yourself a Wondering. Now we don't have to go back down there anymore, uh, nor do we have to use that flight pad, but we're gonna have to do a little mini-game kind of thing of sort here, which I always forget the actual order of this. I think you're supposed to hit this one, then go underwater, then back out of the water, and yeah, you just gotta hit, no, 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 yeah, you gotta go from green one to green one, then they change, they change color after you get one, you gotta go to that one, and then yeah, you gotta just gotta kinda loop yourself around to find them all as quickly as possible, because the time is a ticking. <laughs> And also avoid the whiplash. That's it, it looks like that its hitbox is bigger than it actually is. Let's just put it that way. That's why I was able to, to an escape unscathed. This is a duo one. So you just gotta go through them in one fell swoop. That is kind of a kind of a mean one actually, because you might have to restart that one. Yeah, that was the last one. Because yeah, if you um are tricked by that one. It'll actually, you know, you have to get back up on the crate and then do the flapping and yeah. Anyway, that's the jiggy that we get for that one. Heck yeah. Now, I'm going to exit Clanker here really quick. Um, well, actually, you know what? I just noticed the time. No, no actually, no, I'm going to exit Clanker really quick here because it, no, it's, I, I'll have plenty of time to show this for a 15 minute part or so. So uh, first I'm gonna go through here and, and show you something via this way. I'm gonna dive down deep here and get a Jinjo. Be careful of the whiplash here. Uh, this one's, it's kinda use Banjo's tootsies to get yourself into it carefully. 
and come back to the surface. Now, if you go out this way, this is something rather interesting. This is his gills. Yeah, his gills. <laughs> now, if you go to the other set of gills, you guessed it. There's another way inside him. <laughs> So that is the other way that I'm going to flop down through. Uh, actually, wait a second. Uh, I'm going to use that as my exit, to come to think of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use his face. Uh, wait, uh, not, well, not his face specifically, his... Uh, oh! I didn't mean to go underwater. I got under his chin that automatically went into the swimming motion. That's what happened when I went underneath... Uh, that went to exit his gill, but, you know, I did it on purpose there. <laughs> so, okay, down over here, I'm gonna use the Talon Trot to get the notes around this perimeter here. And then on my way back through, I am going to... Whoop, 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 whoop. I am going to go through that way. I'm not even gonna bother with the snippets. They're just, they're just kind of there in the grand scheme of things. And this is probably the biggest threat of the whiplashes of all the level, even though it's still not very much of a threat. <laughs> um, now this is the other exit that I was going to come through as an entrance, but I'm making it into an exit. Come on, come on, come on, I just need to... This is what I mean about the swimming controls, it's just kind of, kind of drifty. <laughs> And no, 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 no drifting, no drifting. Running off of air, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 not leaving until I get that notes. There we go. <laughs> now, it looks like that I've got a whole bunch of this world done, but it's really just very compact, all the stuff that I did. The rest of the stuff is it's kind of slowish to do, so yeah, that's that's some, something I'm going to save for the other part. And just out of curiosity, because I kind of forgot which door the front door of his spout leads to if you fall down this hole. So I'm going to go back down here again. I don't even know how this metal flexes like that, but I probably shouldn't question the game logic. So yeah, this time I'm going to use this place here to get out. And I'm going to see... Uh, oh, okay, it just leads to the mouth, okay. So with that, I am going to end off the- <laughs> I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I am outside of Clanker once more. Preferably by that side. <laughs>